Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm hungover as hell. But also in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic 110 pound abrasive blaster. I've never personally used a sand blaster before and I've actually never sand blasted anything in my life. So this is going to be kind of a good video about uh, how some random guy can just go out and buy a sand blaster and start sand blasting stuff, which is pretty cool that we can do it these days for a pretty good price tag too. So with that being said, we'll get this video rolling. I'm going to move my pickup outside. I don't want to get sand all over the shop. It would be a terrible mess. So we're going to do it outside. It's a nice day out today in March in North Dakota. It's supposed to be about 60 today, which is almost unheard of. Never, the weather has been strange recently, but in a good way. And if you guys want, check out my video on uh, painting my pickup. It was my first paint job ever. I think it turned out really good. I still got a little bit left to do. As you can see, my passenger door still needs to be put on. I got to put my box on, yada, yada, all that good stuff. So I'm going to be getting that put together uh, this week, hopefully. And then I'll be doing some wet sanding, but watch for that video if it is not posted already. So guys, with that being said, let's get this pickup outside and we'll start the review. All right, so let's see what we got in the box. They, they gave us a funnel for the sand, which is nice. I didn't know they did that. Uh, the actual blaster itself. And it comes with a lot more than I really thought. I mean, it comes with a, a water filter. It's got a pressure gauge. That just screws up here, it looks like. This is where our sand goes. Um, yeah, I mean, they kind of, they even give you a blasting hood. They kind of give you everything that you really need to get started. Very neat. I'm pretty excited to use this. I'm hoping that my air compressor can uh, handle it. I'm sure it's going to struggle, but we'll see how it works out. So at this point, I'm just going to set it up off camera. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. You guys should be able to figure it out. And then we'll go over and start blasting. All right, so I got it all set up. There wasn't really much to set up. I just had to attach that hose uh, via hose clamp, pretty easy. Uh, put the gauge in, and then I just put an end right here so I can hook my air compressor hose up into it. So guys, I think we're ready to start blasting here. And this is the hood they gave with you. Kind of chintzy and cheap, but I'm actually gonna wear these goggles and then I have a nice respirator that I use for painting that'll work great for sandblasting. Here's my respirator I'm going to be using, just a 3M with uh, replaceable filters, a uh, great mask for kind of everything. I uh, use it a lot for sanding and painting. Uh, the goggles I were going to use were these guys, but I spilled a bunch of clear coat on the lenses when I was painting, so that's out of the question. We're just going to use the mask that comes with it. Should be good enough. And the air compressor I'll be using today is my Ingersoll Rand 80 gallon. Uh, it's got a five horse motor on it, single phase, uh, max 150 PSI. So hopefully this thing can kind of keep up with the abrasive blaster. I kind of have my doubts though, cause that thing is like 25 CFM at 120 PSI. And I think my air compressor max is like 17 maybe at 120. I can't really remember, but we'll see how this thing keeps up. So this is the sand I'm going to be using today. I picked it up from my local hardware store. It was only about seven, eight bucks a bag. Got four bags, 50 pound bags. Uh, it's like a silica quartz type of sand. It's meant to not be reused. So you wouldn't use this like in a blasting cabinet. Uh, you'd get something different for that, but it should work great for what I'm using it for because I am not going to be recycling any of the sand. All right, so the air compressor is hooked up, ready to go. I think we're just going to turn this valve. Let this baby fill up. So we're ready to go. I'm gonna put my mask on, my hood on, my glasses, and uh, we'll start sandblasting. So 
so yeah, it's working pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do my thing. Get this frame sand blasted. We'll do a time lapse and then I'll talk about how it went after I'm done. <laughs> So this is what we got so far, and this thing is working pretty damn good. I'm pretty impressed with it. I mean, not bad. As you can see, it's starting to get pretty messy around here with the sand and stuff. I should probably shut my shop door. This is way nicer than trying to grind the whole thing down, which is kind of my original plan, but it's almost impossible with all these nooks and crannies. And but yeah it's it's going pretty good i'm pretty impressed with this thing so far and the compressor's keeping up too it's only ran twice so far it's actually keeping up way better than i expected it's gonna get pretty sandy though i should almost uh roll up my window on that side and i don't have a door on this side yet but i hate for this thing to get all sandy I mean, you can see the sand's kind of making its way up here even which is fine, we'll just blow it off. You can see there's some on the roof there too. I just wanna blow that off and try not to touch it. But that's fine, cause I still gotta do all my wet sanding and stuff, so I'm not too worried about it. So guys, I'm gonna keep on going here. All right guys, so I just finished up my first 50 pound bag and it got me pretty far. As you can see so I think I should have enough bags to do everything that I need to do a bit of a problem you can see right there I got a blowout in my valve I'm leaking air pretty bad from there I'm gonna have to run to town and get a new valve this ain't gonna work when I hit the lever back to release the sand in the air I'm getting sand and air shooting out there too so it's not being focused in that tip so I don't know if that's a common problem with these or not but I definitely need to throw a new valve on here so I can keep going. Not a big deal, you know, but so far so good other than that. So, okay, so I got my new valve on and we are once again good to go. guys so I basically just about have it I got a couple other spots that I gotta hit but it's looking pretty good and she's just about ready for some pour 15 undercoating yeah I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this little blaster I mean I can't remember what I paid for it was probably like 120 150 bucks but yeah it works pretty good I mean besides that little problem I had with the factory valve I just put a new one on there I haven't had a problem and as you can see, the tip actually broke. It's kind of a cheap tip. I'll have to maybe get a different one or find something else to use. Um, I did have it plug up once on me. Down here is where your uh, valve is for your sand. So I just cracked that about halfway. And, it, and if it plugs like it did on mine, you just shut that and keep shooting air through it. And it'll unplug pretty easily. But yeah, overall, I'd recommend this product. It works pretty good, and it's one of those things that's just really nice to have in your shop, you know, for projects like this. And my air compressor did keep up really well, so I was kind of worried about that, but no, it, ke it keeps up pretty good, and 
no complaints there. I got a little bit left over here. The only thing I'm kind of fighting right now is this hood. The sand is kind of roughed it up so you can't even see through it. So like the last half hour I've been basically sanding blind. I mean, see if you guys can, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I mean, I, yeah, I basically have to shoot my spot and then lift my hood up and then see if I'm getting it and then put the hood down and keep on sanding. So that's the only real complaint to have is uh, the mask is kind of garbage, but you definitely need a hood. Uh, that sand actually does hurt kind of like if you're just wearing glasses or goggles or something It's kind of painful on the face So thanks for watching my video review on the Harbor Freight abrasive blaster I highly recommend it especially for the cheap price tag Like I said, I, I think I paid 120 150 bucks for it The bags of sand I've been using are really cheap and they work great too about seven bucks a bag If you're just gonna do it outside like I am and not recycling the sand But it's definitely a really handy tool to have around the shop and I'm kind of happy I got it saves a lot of time especially on framework you spend a lot of time with a wire wheel wire brush grinder it just makes it a lot easier just to hit it with the sand blaster so guys make sure you subscribe to my channel i got a lot of videos coming uh, as you can see i just finished up painting my pickup i got to do some wet sanding on it i'm just kind of trying to get this all pieced back together and it all starts with getting this frame coated before i put the box on uh, so lots of videos coming guys thanks for watching